up guys? Some of y'all have been asking for a rig tour and uh, that's what we're here to do today. To start with, I've got a 2013 Ram 3500. It's black, it's got a six inch lift, uh, stock wheels, they're just powder coated uh, matte black. Uh, 35 1250s, I run the uh, Trail Grappler, Neato Trail Grappler. Had a lot of good luck out of, out of them. Got over 40,000 miles on this set. It's my second set I've ran. Uh, built the bed uh, about a year after I owned this truck. Uh, we'll show that to y'all here shortly. Um, we're going to take a look at the inside, the interior. It's a uh, it's work truck. Today we're just going to do kind of a kind of a quick walkthrough. Um, if y'all have any other detailed questions, feel free to comment and uh, we can make another video if we need to. Simple bed, ain't nothing, ain't nothing to the bed, real, real simple, just two belly boxes. It's got a trunk for my jack stands, I'll show you all that. Uh, my weld machine, I run a, it's a 2012 SAE 300. A lot of mixed reviews on, on those weld machines. I've got guys, I know guys that uh, love them, like myself, I ain't had no issues out of mine. And I know several guys that absolutely hate them, but it's been working for me, so I'm going to keep running it. Here is the interior of my pickup. I like the Dodge interior, the newer Dodge's interior. They uh, seem to be a lot more durable than they used to be. Place for my Garmin, CB. These seat covers are very, very durable seat covers. They are, they are Seat Savers is the brand. They, they fit the seats real well. They were used when I got them and they're still, they're still got a lot of life left in them. They're dirty, but I mean, it is a work truck. So it's got uh, cruise control, power windows, power locks, but manual seats. And it does have a backup camera. Oh, and I have the uh, WeatherTech floor mat that goes all the way across. That's, that's super, nice for a work truck because it keeps everything out of your carpet i get in a lot of mud out there on the job we'll link everything that uh y'all might be interested in in the description box as far as floor mats seat covers or anything else the dodge single cabs nowadays are the biggest out of chevy and ford and dodge uh, but still less room than a four-door so i've got things like that hard hat rack sticks to the window it's nice to save some room behind the seats I'll start with my hose reel I got this hose reel from Tidweld uh, you can find it online it's got 150 foot of continuous hose I absolutely love it it keeps it all nice and tight and neat and of course my weld machine SAE 300 seen better days but it's it's treated me good got my lead wells stinger ground remote and these tabs here to i've got a lid right here that i've put over them so i can lock them up whenever i built this bed i was going for simple nothing too crazy which explains this it's just low profile everything tucked away just just clean uh, this bed holds one oxygen, one acetylene on the other side. Uh, that all just depends on what a guy is doing for his job. For what I do, I get on a bunch of main lines, so you don't really need... I mean, it is nice to have sometimes two oxygens, but I mean, like I said, for what I do, go to the yard every morning, you can always change out your bottle if you need, if you need one. So four foot level back here, straight edges. I just got them on magnets back here. Of course, my umbrella for uh, the hot days. This is my fuel fuel neck. I took this out of the uh, regular bed, as you can tell. A couple of guys I worked with in the past had had these on their bed, and I thought that was pretty neat. So I uh, incorporated that into my bed here. My toolboxes. It's just four inches deep here. All, all this is four inches deep. 
Right here is where I keep my sleeves, knee pads, pancake. It goes all the way, the depth here is all the way to the bottom of the bed. If y'all have any questions on organization or tools I use, uh, just let us know in the comments. We'll be glad to make another video, answer some questions. Like I said, it just depends on what kind of welding job you've, you've got, you know. Obviously it depends on what kind of bed you might have, what kind of tools you're gonna need to carry. Uh, now we'll show y'all my trunk where I keep my jack stands. It'll hold four big jack stands and one little jack stand, but I've only got four big ones in it right now. I kind of use it as a catch-all also. This is my trunk. Like I said, it's catch-all, but I don't know. Got four jack stands running long ways. I take the heads out of them to fit them in there. Got a shock on either side, a gas shock. And up here, this really is a catch-all box. Just got things like jumper cables, uh, a two-inch ball, two and five sixteenths, ratchet strap, just kind of odds and ends. Used to have a chain in there. I believe it's about seven inches deep, and that trunk is about seven inches deep. That's probably roughly the minimum for a fold-up jack stand, your average fold-up jack stand. A mud board. Just sets right behind my weld machine here. Not exactly my favorite place. If I was to do it again, I'd probably put it up here, but I never did make anything for that, but it works. It's my Hoosier pole. Some jobs, they require us to carry a fire extinguisher. Some companies supply it. Some of them don't, but... I carry it on here just just because the last job I was on I had to have it so there it is got four four D rings just obviously used to strap stuff down and then a BMW turnover ball right here I've got a, a lever in my box over here that I pull just like you would on a regular pickup bed you pull out turn your ball over I didn't do anything crazy on my tailboard, didn't inset my lights or nothing. Uh, just simple, legal. I got my backup camera right here. I believe that's just two inch pipe that I used for that. Trailer brakes, that just comes straight out of the, the stock bumper on this pickup. And then safety, safety hooks. And of course my step I built out of two inch pipe. Uh, whenever I first built this bed I got I had LEDs all the way through. I just, I didn't, I didn't cover the back. It's hard to keep mud and stuff from getting in the back where your connectors are. And up here in the Northeast, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, they use a lot of salt on the road, so it eats up them wires. I was having some issues with the connections back there, so to get me by and to get, to be legal, I just put these cheap uh, red lights in. I really would recommend the LEDs because they're so much brighter, safer, and they don't show the red like, these are clear because they're reversed, but the, the brake lights look exactly the same. They just light up red. So it looks a lot cleaner back here. We'll link them below if we can find them. It's my other box on my passenger side. Shock is wore out on it. But it's, it's the same dimensions, four inches all the way up here. And then deep over here, it goes all the way, it's about 20 inches deep over here. I guess 24 if you count this. Uh, I keep my grinders and stuff over here, grinding discs. Kind of the, my helper's box, I guess you could say. Kind of a catch-all over here, it's got clamps and like I said, we can get in more detail if y'all want to know what kind of tools I carry, but my fenders, a lot of guys use 3R90s, I believe, 6 inch 3R90s for this style of fender. I couldn't get a hold of such things, so I trial and error and I figured out that uh, I used the 10 inch, two 10 inch 90s and quartered them. Anyway, that's how I, how I made these, but uh, I could get into way more detail on the specs of my bed, but if y'all want to know, you know, more specs about it, just comment. We'll be glad to make another video 
about different specs on how I done everything. I don't know, this tire sticking out is cool looking, but I don't know if I'd do that again. This black truck, it's hard to keep it clean, but it does, does look better, I guess. But anyway, maybe that's the old man in me, I don't know. I powder coated it black. This is only the second bed I've ever built. Uh, and last one, I got powder coated white. This one, of course, I got black because the truck's black. If I was to do it again, I'd probably, I'd probably paint it, I would like to say. I don't know, I've got mixed emotions about that. The only trouble that I've ever had out of the Line X is where it gets nicked or anything. You know, that's the only trouble you're ever gonna have out of, you know, a bed liner. Some of y'all might know from a regular bed liner. It's harder to find a better product for a, like a welding bed or a custom bed because it's not like a, you know, like a regular bed. You, you've got, you know, random things where it's hard for them to tie in and stuff. A lot more places can get caught real easy, but Line X has been a real, real good product for me. Uh, last box on my bed is right behind my weld machine back here. Just enough room. It is a rod box. I built it to fit four standard size welding rod boxes. That's all it will hold. I usually carry three boxes of rod and then I keep a bottle jack, magnet, you know, any kind of another catch-all. I use this magnet for uh, to get welding rod out of a new box of rod. Since they are in here like this, it's it's hard to get them out when it's a fresh box. You can't get your fingers in there, so I just use a magnet. And this is where my acetylene bottle goes, right over here. I set it in. I don't remember how. I think I set it in roughly 18 inches, so it sets up about yay tall below my weld machine below my ice chest and then I carry a, a Yeti ice chest just built a little frame for it simple Yeti's a good uh, good brand I guess I don't I believe I got the lemon if there was a lemon just like there isn't a lot of things that it, it keeps of course it does sit right next to my weld machine but I mean, more than anything, it's durable. I mean, that's what I like about it. I mean, super durable, you know, it's it's gonna last f forever. I've had it for uh, at least three years, I guess, since I've had this bed. Yeah, right when I built this bed, I bought it. So three years, it's still good as new. I mean, it still holds ice, you know, a couple days, it'll stay cold for two or three days for sure, but definitely don't hold ice for four days, but good ice chest. I keep that right there. I also line X'd the back of my cab just to keep it from getting scratched back here. And then I line X'd from here down. And then my fenders, of course, you all probably noticed. And on up on my cab, I line X'd all that. Keep rocks and stuff from scuffing it as bad kind of gives it a two-tone effect also thank you guys for watching uh, hope y'all enjoyed it if you have any questions any other uh, anything you want to see in more detail let us know like I said in the comments we'll be happy to do another video sorry it took so long for this one to get out uh, we've been fighting the weather up here but uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of what we do our channels uh, a lot of pipeline life uh, traveling in an RV farm life when we're home. Bye guys, see you later.